Howdy, howdy, it's Thursday. So this is our last day of copycat recipes, and it's going to be the KFC chicken bowl. The only difference is we're going to make it into a casserole so that we don't have to put a bunch of bowls in the oven, because I don't have those bowls to begin with. So the first thing we're going to do is spray our pan real good, because nobody wants to clean up potatoes for an hour. At least I don't. I'll just send over everything to Jack's mic um, dishwasher. How's that? <laughs> See how many times he has to wash it in <laughs> the dishwasher. Didn't get none there at all. Alright. Now you can use instant potatoes, you can use mashed potatoes, you can use pink potatoes, I don't care. Whatever potatoes you want. So you're going to line the bottom with potatoes. We happen to use instant mashed potatoes. Because, A, I don't have enough potatoes to do this with. <laughs> but maybe this weekend, hopefully we're going to um, harvest our potatoes. So how's everybody's Thursday going? I hope it's going great. Me and Jack were running behind because we had things to do. So we're running behind. It's not you guys, it's us. <laughs> and I'm trying to come up with some great ideas to do with my grandson next week. Um, it should be a lot of fun. I want to figure out a few things to do with them. You told me, you know, Grandma, pancakes are my favorite. So maybe I'll have to figure out a couple pancake different recipes. I love pancakes. But then if I take him those French toast sticks, you know, from Burger King, he eats those like crazy. So obviously he likes those too. So maybe he'll eat anything. Actually, he's a pretty fussy eater, so that's probably not true. All right, so you're going to flatten them out as much as you can. And then you're going to take your can of corn. Jack will catch up. <laughs> and kind of just sprinkle it over the top. Just like that. Use the whole entire can. You know, and if you don't like corn, use green beans. Use peas. It's your kitchen, your rules. Use whatever you want to use. And if people don't like want to eat it, then I guess it gives you a whole lot left. <laughs> I see these young kids now. And their parents have to make two different meals and whatever. I didn't play that game. My kids had a three-bite rule. If you took three bites and you didn't like it, then you didn't have to eat it. But honestly, I really lucked out because I didn't find anything my kids didn't like. So I think as long as you make them try something, they at least know. Like Jack always tells me, that's gross. Well, then he's finding out differently, isn't he? <laughs> so then you're going to take a bag of, and we pre-cook these, little chicken, popcorn chicken. We're going to put those all over the top. And I, I'll tell you, I snuck a couple. Because I was really hungry, so I snuck a couple. Tom's not home yet. He has a doctor's appointment. So I'm not sure what time he'll be home. Look at all that chicken. Wow. Let me tell you, if you can't get full up of this, I don't know what to tell you. You're in trouble. This is actually Tom's favorite dish. Um, he said if I die first, he'll live on KFC bowls. So, I will be replaced by KFC. <laughs> Alright, we need a ladle over there too, Jack, when you're done. Okay. I'll spread it out. Me and Jack have talked about this work smarter, not harder thing, haven't we, Jack? Uh, well, I wasn't working smarter. Yes, so then you have to work harder. Or take later. longer. Nothing right? Yep. Now move your pan that way. Okay, I'll hold it. Okay, I'll hold it. And 
then we're going to top it with some. You can put that over here for now, and then I'll give it back to you. How's that? Okay. <clears throat> now, this gravy was just your normal um, brown gravy. I buy it in the bulk. I'm not a real gravy fan, to be honest with you, but it calls for gravy. And I do like the potato bowls myself, too, so what the heck, right? So I haven't thought about what to make for next week. So if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas what you'd like to see me do, then, you know, pin it in the comments. I'd love to hear it and right. see what you got. I gave you one. What? Uh, oh. Yeah, Jack had it. His friend's got one. All right. Now you can put that over top of yours, Jack. And then the last step is going to be to put cheese on top of it. And you're going to cook this about 20 minutes uncovered. Make sure everything is nice and sizzling hot. The cheese is melted. All that good stuff. We'll go see who it is. I had somebody show up during taping. Go figure. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Um, my husband's cousin walked in. So let me finish up here and then we'll get it in the oven. So cover it with cheese and then you're going to put it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. 20 if you want it, you know, browned on the top at 350 and then enjoy it. And I'll be back when the big kahuna gets home and he tries it for you. You guys have a blessed day. Well, Tom just texted and said he's going to be at the doctor's for quite a bit longer. They just dilated his eyes. So I'm going to do the taste test here. Let's see what we think. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes just like the potato bowls. Gotta try it, guys. You have a blessed night. Be a blessing. And by the way, 151, we're doing great. Thank you, guys. Thanks, all of you, for watching. Bye-bye.